buildings. <gasps> no! I hate you! This is everything I impulsively freaking bought. So I got dressed pretty quickly because it's my first day of the next semester back at college and I want to get there early so I don't have to rush and it's snowing really badly right now so I don't want to have to risk rushing there or like putting myself in danger and uh, this outfit is the outfit I'm gonna wear and I know what you're thinking like girl like if you're saying it's snowing really bad, what are you wearing? But I'm only gonna be walking from the car to the building, so I'm not really worried about getting cold. And I really believe in first impressions. And I feel like this outfit really screams my personal style. I'm really excited to like wear this. So I'm wearing a ribbon in my hair that I just snipped from like a spool of it. This brown zip up is from H&M and my boyfriend got it for me. This black tank top is Brandon Melville. This purse is vintage Vera Bradley. The clip on it that adjusts is tortoiseshell and I also have like tortoiseshell nails on so I thought it would match really well. This mini skirt is vintage Nike. And lastly, I'm wearing my low Doc Martens with these ruffle socks. So I'm quickly just gonna go downstairs, like make my coffee, eat something, and I'll see you when I'm walking out the door. Oh, I forgot to mention too, I'm going to be wearing this jacket, but it's not uh, like a part of my fit. I'm just wearing it from the house to the car and from the car to the lecture building. first class of the year was canceled because of all of this snow so yeah now I'm back at my house so. I only had one class scheduled today, so that was the only Zoom call I had to join. So I'm just gonna clean up my room and watch Studio Ghibli for the rest of the day, which by the way, it's like two o'clock already. So I woke up pretty late, so I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, it is the next morning. I'll show you my outfit in just a minute, but I'm doing my makeup first. Also, my skin has been super dry this winter, which is kind of unusual. So I've been using this moisturizer. It's the Snail Rescue Moisturizer and it's been working really good for me so far. But if you are struggling with dry skin, I highly recommend this moisturizer. And obviously I'm not sponsored. I have like 19 subscribers. I have a makeup routine that I have been doing religiously and I've bought in refills of like a lot of the products I use. So if you want to see a makeup routine, let me know. So yesterday on my Zoom call, I was given like a materials list. So we're going out and we're gonna go to Michael's and go pick up the materials I need for my class, which is basically drawing pad, pencils, stuff like that, just simple stuff. I'm majoring in graphic design. So graphic design is basically marketing, but the artistic side of marketing. So that's right up my alley. If anyone else knows me, I took marketing classes in high school and I just loved business. I actually like received like the marketing award in high school. I'm really excited to like see how this goes, which I tried doing the traditional line of like marketing and I went into that class 
And I realized like, no, this is like the number side of marketing. And then I didn't really know like what it was called. So it took me a search to figure out that like graphic design is the artistic side of marketing, not the number side. So if anyone else has been interested in like marketing and like actual ads and like doing digital stuff, like that is where you're trying to be. And it's like, honestly so fun because you get to do like art classes all the time so here's my outfit today i'm wearing this black cardigan that i thrifted the same necklaces they're gonna be on for the entire video this floral tank top from pexon has a little pink bow these brown carpenter pants from brandon millville and my doc martin jadens the only thing is I literally cannot decide between these two bags. The coach one matches the pants super well. But this Black Fair Bradley purse perfectly matches the pink bow here. I think I'm going to go with this one. got out of there tried to not buy things I didn't need but that drawing pad was way larger than I expected it to be and I only left with two things that aren't on my list I got that little pink thing of paper and I left with high shoes strawberry is the best flavor by the way but yeah I can't leave high shoes <gasps> no not my high shoe I totally did not just drop my high shoe like so far under my seat that I can't even grab it it is two hours later and I'm back home and I totally blacked out out there. I ended up in Target, I ended up in Staples, I ended up back in Michaels. Okay. This is everything I actually needed for school and this is everything I impulsively freaking bought. Good morning, it is Wednesday and today I'm gonna be on campus from 11.30 a.m. to 8.15 p.m. and god. That is going to be a long day, so I have to find something really cute, but also really comfortable. This is like my actual first day now, I guess. I can't just show up lazy. Alright, I'm in a rush, so here's my outfit. Blue brandy tank top, white brandy tie top, this skirt I thrifted, tights but squished down, and my Nike Air Forces. I'm also wearing this purse with my little Squishmallow guy and it has all of my school supplies in here. As a bonus, I'm wearing this jean jacket to keep me warm as I walk between the buildings. Yesterday I spent all that time after lunch editing and then I went to my next class and it started storming really bad so I didn't want to film anymore. I just wanted to rush out of there and get home but it is a new day and today I think I'm going to go out with my friends and go thrifting or we're going to go to the mall. This is today's outfit and I decided to keep it super low key because I'm just going out with my friends, you know? I don't need to wear anything special. So I'm wearing this pink little bean sweater that I thrifted. And this thing is such high quality, like I wish everyone could have a chance to touch it. Like it's amazing. Then I'm wearing this Brandy Melville top like underneath for some extra warmth. I'm wearing this Vera Bradley bag that I thrifted and the pink matches super well to this. My jeans are Levi's and they are carpenter pants, so they're super comfortable. And for my shoes, I'm just wearing my Air Forces and the socks that my friend gifted me. 
So I did the drawing class yesterday, so this is some of the drawings that we did. We only had um, like a couple minutes to do each one, so like this is someone's chain that was there. That was my foot, my crochet charger, my jean jacket, but it was like draped over a chair, but I just didn't include the chair. My favorite ones that I did was probably like the chain and the jean jacket, but we have to do one for homework. So we're going to take one of them, blow it up extra large, and put a lot more detail into it. So I think I'm going to do my shoe, and I took like a reference photo. So, yeah. So I wasn't able to record when I was at my friend's because we didn't end up going out, and we just hung out at their house. Sorry, but this is my work fit. I'm wearing my lifeguard shirt and my puffer jacket, some sweats, and my Nikes. Also, I'm going to be so incredibly caffeinated because my sister accidentally got me a large iced coffee and I took this freaking pre-workout to the gym and I'm not going to waste it, so I'm going to be so hyped all day. So it's time for me to head off to school and this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a brandy tie top, a brandy tank top, these Levi's jeans, which are awesome. They're so cool because look at the pockets. They're the best. They perfectly just drape over my boots, which is something I love. So yeah, Doc Martin Jadens. And here's a closer look at my hairstyle. I'm using a black hair tie to hold it because this clip really isn't grippy and then I put the clip over it so that it looks like it's kind of being held up by that. So 